Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning sons, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for taking time out for yourself. Like I tell you, it's always good to be able to meditate, center yourself. We always need to be balanced as much as we, you know, try to possibly be you know regardless with all the daggone energy that we keep on getting left and right and going through these shifts because we really need to take time out for that self-care because that is truly important so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content my video or you're just up to me about your impact to get the impact of your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so especially if they need uh confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for loving support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video so today my um my uh meditation music i have in the background is called 432 hertz dna repair power third eye opening binary beats right relaxing sleep music for seven chakras and i will post that link in the description box below Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Aoka's Finding Your Way Out the Rabbit Hole. <laughs> Lord have mercy, it's just like going there, it's like doing, I, you know, because I was looking at, I, I was sitting up here, uh, like anytime I go through my, my meditation music, I try to see if there's any new ones that I can resonate with or... Um, or it really speaks out to me, you know, sticks out to me or whatever. And next thing you know, I see something about the wormhole and I, you know, I picture myself coming out the rabbit hole. And that's what it seems like we're doing. Like we're all got our own little way of being in Alice in the World Wonderland. You know, we don't slip and bump our head. Next day we go to a, a magical world where you start seeing everything you know differently and that's what we do now you know it's just like we had to go through our spiritual awakening we had to see the things that was not so pretty see why everything connects what 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 it real what really is that they try to put us in um a box for us to be blind in truth or put limitation on ourselves because they fear this and they fear that and once we step out that box and see things for truly what they are and see the skies is the limit is truly a blessing i mean even though we go through hell and high water a few times that got to deal with all these different shifts the upgrades the downloads the side loads the back loads and all those other loads you know but it, it, it's just like when everything's said and done you can actually look at it as a blessing y'all know when i first started this i used to always say being an empath is like a curse and a blessing at the same time now i really don't feel that way anymore i just feel like it's a blessing with fine print <laughs> that's all i can say it's a blessing with fine print you know how you have that you know everything seemed good but you know they got that little itty bitty words that you you care not to read and then that's when you find out that fine print something always got a side of it you know um being able to be with me as like an indigo infj white witch twin flame hayoka uh what else um god dog what else reiki healer you know medium all these different things i have you know mystical hats for that i put all together and it just gets sometimes it gets you know too much overwhelming because i feel a lot of energy it's like even before i put these videos out i feel the energy is coming towards me and you know it's a beautiful thing but it's like when we all have our energy that carries some heavy situations with it that's the down that's the downside you know because it's like you know people was intrigued by my gift there's some people that you know when i cross paths with them and they found out i was like they'd be like oh rosa read me read me and i mean it's okay you know but it got to that point where there are sometimes the way i read people other things tend to come out at the same time that is not so pretty that they may not want people to know and i 
that's mind raping people. And I said, it's like, oh my God, why you say it like that? Because I said that you're wanting me to focus on one thing and I can't just focus on that one thing when there's something else is speaking to me. <laughs> you know, and it's just like there there's been times where I got traumatized myself because I see why certain people were the way they were. Or people tell me, Rosalind, these are the things that I went through and I pick up on other things as well. You know, so it's just like you know, going through all those different situations, you know, it, it, it has its it has its perks, but then it doesn't. You know, it has a perk because it's like throughout my years, I've been able to help a lot of people, especially when it came to the spirit world. You know, I've connected with people on emails and allowed them to know, you know, especially if their you know, spirit of their loved one speaks to me. And they want them to be able to know things because in the midst of sadness, they tend to not get what's coming towards them. I had people that I worked with that has lost people that was close to them and there no there was no way of me knowing it. And sometimes, you know, they would shy away from me after I told them what they told me. They would never talk to me again. You know, I said, Well you, you asked to be able to speak to these people and now what I'm telling you, you know, these are the things they knew I didn't know. But I was able to tell them that and it took them aback. They were like, wait a minute, that was a little bit too much for me. And I'm just like, well, I'm sorry. You know, these these are the messages they need you to hear, you know, because they've been desperately wanting to communicate with you. But they can't do that when you're, you know, you're doing what you're doing. So it's just being able to finally see things for what they are. Being able to look outside the box, seeing everything in a bigger picture, in a bigger perspective, in a positive perspective. You're finally finding yourself out of that rabbit hole of confusion, unknowingness, you know, uncertainty, doubt, you know, self-love. You know, all these things that you had to be able to go through all these tragic situations for you to be able to climb out of that hole of depression, anxiety dark place anything that was kept you at a low frequency yes it took some work but that's just anything that needs to come become great because it's just like i love hearing y'all progress i love seeing the fact that y'all pushing your envelope towards being a better person each and every day it is not gonna happen overnight that takes time it takes time. I used to get frustrated with myself. I'm like, Ugh, why can't I get over this? Ugh. You know, I'm just tired of, you know, getting upset and I get crying, you know, crying about the things that go on. Yes, I still do cry a lot, you know, not as much as I used to. But it's like since the shift is going on, I get tend to get sensitive a little bit. And it's like there's now it's just like more of tears of joy than it is a tear of tears of sorrow. You know, yes, I have tears of sorrow when it comes to missing my father, you know. Uh, wishing I could, you know, have those times to be able to get back that I can't. You know, begging God, Lord, just let me, give me another chance. You know, it's just like you want to do over. And I mean, that's just anybody when they lose their, you know, their parents and stuff like that. But I know everything happens for a reason. Um, my dad has been there to spiritually guide me through more than, you know, I, I can even speak on, you know, and he's been very great for me, you know, even though he's not, you know, he's spiritually around me, you know, he tells me he's there every step of the way. And I truly believe that he is, you know, there's times where I'm being very sad and I'll hear my dad, you know, making little corny jokes and stuff like that, trying to make me laugh. And I love that, you know, and that's true. As soon as I said that, my, my phone just lit up like crazy, but being able to cross find yourself crawling that out of that wormhole I mean the rabbit hole of you know despair and stuff like that is truly a blessing you know I you know if I look back in my videos I can see I'm like Lord Jesus all the hotness you know but everything is a learning process it's just like people who've been with me for a while I love the fact that you've been with me for so long you know you've seen me at so many different you know different moods you know on my most vulnerable you know like I tell y'all I hate crying you know that I'm just like oh lord have mercy you know I try to back away or just not even look at the camera at times because I feel so much energy or you know I feel hurt for the people that are going through things you know and it, it just allows you to be you know vulnerable I love being that way but then I don't you know because it's just like ugh. I don't like to cry. I never do. But I know it's a good thing to do that. But, 
you know, it's just like, I'm not trying to get that kind of attention. You know, some people, you know, they, they see, you see them on videos and you be like, oh God, they're just trying to be extra and this and this and that. And I don't want nobody ever feel that way about me. You know, it's just like, I, I get sensitive, you know, it pulls on my heartstrings. There's times y'all can drop messages and I start bawling out crying because I love to hear that, you know, one of my videos allowed you to adapt to the things that you feared the most. You know, those it's a blessing to be able to help people out of that. You know, it's a blessing when I get, you know, somebody telling me, Roslyn, I was about to end my life until I, I read, you know, I came across one of your videos. And that was a blessing. I prayed for that person. I'm so, I'm so glad that my video was able to help them stop doing a, a mistake that they would have regret for the rest of their life. Well, the re regret for the rest of their afterlife. You know, that is truly a blessing when you're able to help people in so many different ways, you know, allowing them to see things that was hard for them to see into their selves. You know, I always give people that words of encouragement. You know, you can do it. You know, you just have to apply yourself. You know, I have to tell myself that at times, you know, about certain things. You know, I love it when y'all challenge me, especially lost puppy. You know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, I love it when y'all challenge me. You know, I, I, I enjoy the fact is that we all can communicate in a beautiful community where you can send support. You know, you're allowed, I mean, you, you share your vibes with other people because we all are healing in one way or another. We're all trying to crawl ourselves out of those crazy rabbit holes that, you know, we, we try to get ourselves away from, you know, dealing with those things and learning, you know, from all the, the pain and sorrow that we have dealt with for so long, but being able to see that love and strength and that power within yourself after all those times, you know, that's the blessing that, you know, then you get the bigger picture. You know, at times, I, like I said, I get frustrated. I get mad. You know, at times I was just like, God, why am I still here? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But there, I was still dealing with, you know, painful scenarios. I was still, you know, that was still in the back of my mind, still having a little anger and regret on certain things that I truly needed to walk away from. You know, it's like you can't change it. You're not going to be sure the heck ain't changing them, but you're changing yourself in the process. You know, it was amazing when I can tell my mom's ex-husband and her his wife, well, I don't smoke or drink or anything anymore. Just watching their face, they're like, damn. You know, in the back of their mind, it was like, oh, I hope we would have just got her to where she was just a nervous wreck or this and this and that. You know, but I had to allow them to see that strength in myself. Not that I had to prove them wrong, but just to let them know the situations you tried to place on me had no hold over me anymore. And I wanted you to know that. <laughs> you know, so that was a beautiful thing to be able to let them know. I said, oh, I'm good. You know, I'm cordial with you, tolerating you for those few minutes, you know, and then being able to go about my business and still wish you well. You know, I had to go through that because I told, you know, I, I never thought I would be able to ever forgive them and walk away. I never thought I was going to be able to sit up here and look at this situation and say, because you put me here, you try to kill me. If any kind of way you try to break me down to be less than anything, and it did not happen. Actually, the things that you did lifted me up. You didn't know the tragedy you placed upon my life gave me that rebirth, gave me that strength I never knew I had, that confidence I didn't know I had in myself to be able to you know, move forward and, and do what I need to do to help others along the way as well. Being able to have that self-love for myself to put boundaries up to like, if you can't respect me, then you got to get the hell on. You know, those are all the things that I'm so happy that you did to me. All that pain, that anger, you know, you try to abuse me in every which way possible that you possibly can because your insecurities were reflecting on me and you, you hurt me for that. And for all those things that you've done, allowed me to be the person I am today. And I, I said, like I tell people, I'm so glad I went through these situations because then it allowed me to know myself in such a spiritual way. You know, learn all these gifts that I had that I, I have in store myself to be able to help others along the way. So I'm glad I went through my situations. Yeah, there will be certain things that I would change, but everything happened for a reason. So I can't really, you know, say I would do but in the same hand, I can't. But it was a blessing to be able to experience the things I experienced. Because if I didn't, 
I wouldn't be able to know myself the way I truly supposed to be. And you know, that's why I would love for y'all to see the situations you're in. Yes, your pain always holds a purpose. It always has a deeper, bigger meaning than just the pain that you carry. You know, it allows you to see that 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 power in yourself to where you know you wouldn't allow that to ever happen to you again. Maybe you had to go through this situation because you knew what it felt like to be there to where you can help somebody else stop it before they allow that to go any further with them or you'll be that advocate to go against people that you know do domestic violence towards people you might start that charity fund you know we would always love to say hey i wanted to build a building for whether or not if it's for men or women but i make sure they're housed in different places you know that had to deal with domestic violence it's not just women that's getting beat up by men there's men that get beat up by women as well you know there's not just always the women that get goes through these narcissistic situations men go through it too you know some them they god bless the man for them them like okay i'm not putting my hands on her like she did me some people don't do that a lot of men will knock your butt the hell out and you probably have to scrape yourself off the floor you know you have to go through all these things and i will always you know i always tell my parents you know i want to be able to you know have me a, a housing apartment for people that are trying to uh what is it i forgot what it is but basically build their self up i forgot what word i'm trying to come up with re innovate or whatever you want to call it when um you've gone through so much hard times with a person and it's just like you've been controlled in a situation for so long you don't know how to uh take care of yourself when, once you got out of that situation you got to start from the ground up i want to be able to have something like that for people where you can get the training you can get you know get you a place to stay with you and your children that will be private you know nobody can't come visit you you know in those places unless they, you know they have approval first you know being able to help people like that because when you need to be relocated and you need to start back all over again that's hard for some people especially if you had somebody in your life that was controlling everything around you so once you got out of that situation they already got in your mindset you ain't gonna be able to do nothing without me you have to be able to prove those people wrong you have to be able to say okay i'm about to start my life over take me and my kids i'm getting the heck on out of here they don't need to see me go through this no more they don't need to be adapted this kind of life no more i need to go before i end up being at ground deep because there's a lot of people that are not blessed to get out of domestic violence they end up dying you know and that's a blessing when you can actually be able to walk away from that i've been to that point i've been in a relationship where a man choked the mess out of me because i told him to get up out of my house I told him I'm not going to listen to you, disrespect me. That man tried to choke the mess out of me, tried to choke the life out of me. And, you know, his franken beans is all dislocated because of that situation. So I don't play that. So, you know, actually seeing somebody being able to go through that, that one to be, that would, I wanted to be the advocate to help people with abusive childhood, you know, upbringing, you know, as well as domestic violence as well. I want to be able to do one Thing like that maybe if it's you know god wants me to be able to do that he'll you know he'll work that way through it in my life so when you're allowing yourself to get out that rabbit hole congratulate yourself because it took a long time for you to get up out of there and this is almost 18 minutes long so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it short this is gonna probably be most likely my last video for the day and this is gonna come out later on today so i will see you on my next video if i have something to come out later on then you'll know so much love to you peace be wow. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate. Holla.